okay, let's say that we have a table of data here, and uh, it doesn't really matter what they are. Just know that T is my X coordinate. That's time. D happens to stand for debt in this problem, so we want to graph down on the Y plan and the, in the Y axis. Um, let's say that I want to do this on the TI-84. If I do it by hand, which I could do, it's going to look something like this. Okay, so we have a line here. And we can see that obviously a straight line is going to match it pretty well, okay? But the idea is we want to be able to let the technology do, for, do it for us because it's going to give us a much better equation for the line, the slope-intercept form, y equals mx plus b. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing that you would have to do is you're going to get out your calculator, okay? And on the calculator, I need you to go to, if it shows up here, let's get rid of that. There we go, brighten up a little bit. All right, here we go. The first thing I want you to do is you need to go to stats, and that's going to bring up a thing that looks like this, okay? Now, we're editing our statistics right now because we're going to enter them into the calculator. So I'm going to go ahead and hit enter, or I can just hit one. It doesn't matter which, and it brings me to this screen. It's going to ask me list one and list two. What do I want to type in? List one happens to be the X coordinates. In this case, that's time, so I'm going to type in 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, and 14. And... List 2, I'm going to come over here, I'm going to hit to the right and move over to list 2, and I need to enter my y values there, that happens to be 6, 6.4, 7, 7.6, 8.4, 9.2, and 10.3. So I now have my x and y values listed, now I need to plot those on a graph. In order to do that, I need to go up to second statistics plot. And it brings up this window. And you can see here I have multiple things that I can actually plot at the same time. All four of those are turned off right now. So I'm just going to hit enter. Notice that the first one right here is highlighted. Notice that that is highlighted. I'm going to hit enter. And I'm going to turn this plot on. Now notice I have different types of graphs. I can go down to, say, for instance, a line graph right here. I can do a bar graph. You can do box and whiskers. If you go to general statistics class, this is very helpful. It asks me right here, what do I want my x coordinates and y coordinates to be? And so I tell it that I want the x coordinates to be the y, list 1, the y coordinates to be list 2. And when I'm done with that, I simply hit graph. Now notice it's kind of cut off, isn't it? Remember that we enter values from 8 to 14 for our x, and we enter values between 6 and, and 11 or so for the y coordinates. So I need to go change my window. My window, I'm going to make my window go from, say, 0 to uh, my maximum is 14, so let's just go up to 15. We can go by once. The, the minimum y value, let's just go 0 to like 20. That'll give us a good enough window. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and change it to 2 so I don't have as many tick marks. Hit graph, and now I have the same graph plotted on my TI-84. That's it for this video. If you want to learn how to actually fit a line to this data, I'll put a second video online. You can check that out in just a second.